Hello friends, it's Amy from A Star Reads, and I'm ready to celebrate the holidays. Let's get this year over with. My family celebrates Christmas. I'm really excited about the holidays this year. I wasn't actually prepared for Halloween or fall. Now that we're getting later into the holidays, I'm like, okay, let's just do this. I've accepted it. Let's put up all the ornaments. Let's just have a whole bunch of fun. And <laughs> I'm gonna have that much fun with my channel as well. I hope, we'll see. So this is my December TBR advent calendar, Christmas carol video. I, I don't even really know because I'm not actually gonna tell you all the books I'm gonna read in December by the end of this video, but never fear, you will find out over the course of the month. <laughs> As I kind of teased in a previous video, I'm centering my whole TBR around this lovely little advent calendar that I created. It's actually an old Reader's Digest book that I got for like a quarter at Habitat for Humanity. And I, I made this and I will show a little montage here. If you are interested in making one of your own, you can see kind of what I did and maybe make your own. Cue montage. Okay, so I've made some pretty good progress on my advent calendar. I haven't yet glued it down like this, and that's the next step. But I cut out all the pieces, all the different squares, and what I had done is I had measured it out and tried to measure 12 different sections that were fairly the same size. And then I used an X-Acto knife to cut down into each one. So I just cut down on each side and then pull a little piece out and continue until I got to a depth that I thought was, you know, it's not super deep, but it's enough to put a little piece of paper in there. At the bottom, I had got this gold paper and I cut a little square out and put it down there so like, you know, when you open each door, it would just look a little more pretty. So then I actually just used this Elmer's clear glue for the whole thing. I painted it on the sides and let it dry, including these sides. And it's done a pretty good job of holding it together. It's actually holding the bottom on pretty well too. And then inside of these, I just used a paintbrush with this glue and I painted the insides and I painted the top of it so that these wouldn't come apart, that they would kind of stay together. And then I'll be using the same glue, which is, it's, you know, if you get this wet, it'll probably melt. But <laughs> hopefully I won't get this wet. I'll just glue this down tonight. And then on this side, it was kind of difficult because they were, they were starting to tear a little. So I put a piece of tape after opening them like this. I put a little piece of tape and kind of glued over that so the tape wouldn't come undone. And so then I can close these and open them and I'm not too worried about the doors falling off because this material is kind of a cardboardy material and so it was not, when I started, you know, opening them and closing them, it was getting a little tender. You know, like once this is glued shut, it probably should be fine. And then my next step is to, I'm gonna paint a little square on here and then paint the numbers. So each one will have a little teeny square, probably in white paint, and then I'll put a number on it. Maybe white, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. So once the glue dries and the paint dries, and I've got my little numbers on there, my advent calendar will be done. And it actually turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I mean, I, I, I figured it would turn out okay, but I'm just really digging this. Like, it turned out really cool.
you'd like to do this challenge with me, I would be super excited. And let me know in the comment section down below because it would be a lot of fun to see what kind of books you end up picking. And I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself now, so <laughs> you don't even know what the heck this is about. Okay, let's go back up, back up, back up. Whew. Very excited. Okay, slow down. <laughs> All right, so I thought it would be fun to do a TBR based off two things that I really enjoy for Christmas. And I like, at least in the past couple of years, we've really gotten into doing advent calendars. As you can see, that pretty advent calendar over there. And then we do Disney pins. So we actually have another advent calendar where we just put mystery pins in there and then get a different Disney pin every day, which, you know, is a lot of fun. And so the last several years, advent calendars are something we've kind of gotten into. So I thought it'd be fun to do an advent calendar where I had to pick a book each, I don't wanna say each day because I can't read some of these books in a day, but each time I want a new book, I have to open the day of the calendar. So I'll start with one, you know, the first day of Christmas, and I'll go all the way through to the 12th day of Christmas. The other thing that I've always loved about the holidays is Christmas carols. I was a weird kid. I mean, I liked gifts, as well as the next person, but I was really all about Christmas carols. Obviously, as you can tell, I have a booktube. I am a ham. I was always a ham. I was such a ham as a little kid. I was the first grandchild and an only child, so why fight it, right? Oh, I forgot to say, look. I just got this cute little shirt, all booked for the holidays. I really love it. I just thought it was so cute, and I wanted to get it for these videos, and you can't even see it. So, I mean, it, it's a little awkward, but I love it and I think it's perfect for the holidays. I'm sure I'll be wearing it a lot. So because I love Christmas carols so much, I thought it would be fun to pick my prompts based off the lines of a Christmas carol. And the one I chose is the 12 days of Christmas. So, you know, the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. So for each day, each line, first day through the 12th day of Christmas, I chose three books that I could possibly be reading. The three books that I chose had a word in the title that is the most prominent word in that sentence of the song. So, let me give you an example. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. So I chose a book that has the word partridge in it, and I'll show you it here. I chose I partridge, and then leaving Lucy pear, and then a tree in Brooklyn. And these are the three books that could have possibly been placed in number one. So the way I chose these books is that I tried to go through my Goodreads TBR and pick books that were already on my TBR. But you know, there's definitely words within the song that I didn't have books for on my TBR. I went to Goodreads search, I put that word in the search engine, and then I chose the first book that came up that I could easily get my hands on. If it was a book that I couldn't easily get, I didn't even consider it because, you know, I need to be able to pick up these books as quick as possible after I've finished the last one. So then what happened was I had my mom pick one of those three books from a stocking and put it in one, two, three. And I know that sounds confusing, but I'm gonna show you that and what it looks like right now. Mom and I are gonna show you the filling process. So I've cut up the papers that have the very first three books on them. She's picking the book for day number one. What are you doing? You don't fix your hair on the camera. <laughs> so she's gonna be picking the book that will be for day one. I have to pick out of all these huge amounts of three? Yeah, all three. Door number one. Goodbye. Door number one has a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the rest now. Okay, so we've got Serpent and Dove, 513 pages. Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus and Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Day three could either be Anna and the French Kiss, The Hen Who Dreamed She Could Fly. The Book of Three. will either be the genius of birds, calling me home, or four dead queens. For day five, it could be Slaughterhouse Five, the golden compass, or the postman always rings twice. Okay, 
six. Six of crows, six geese a slaying, or as I lay dying. <laughs> so for seven, I've got the book Seven by Farzana Doctor, A Wild Winter Swan, and Swimming Lessons. <laughs> Okay, so eight, uh, we have, we were eight years in power, uh, Maid, which actually has a longer title, but it's a nonfiction book about maids, and then Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, the number one ladies detective agency, and the Sleepwalker's Guide to Dancing. <laughs> this is a bit um, tedious. <laughs> <laughs> Picking one for each number. What was this? Nine. Nine ladies dancing. Oh, there's a hole there. No, no, don't. Huh. Oh! I, you didn't, didn't, I see. didn't see it. See, look, I've got little teeny holes on the edges so that you can lift them up. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> 10,000 Doors of January, Lord of the Flies, and The Big Leap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 11 Piper's Piping. I've got Station 11, Piper, and there's actually a book called 11 Piper's Piping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 12 Drummers Drumming. I've got 12 Years a Slave. A book called 12 Drummers Drumming, and, which is written by the same author as The Lemon Piper's Piping, and The Painted Drum by Louis Erdrich. Voila! Advent calendar full. And now, as you can see, I have one book choice behind each of these doors. So the way that the whole challenge is gonna work is that my intention for this month is to make it through all 12 books. But some of these books have 400, 500 pages. So that's gonna be a challenge. And I can't read a four or 500 page book in a day. So <laughs> what's gonna happen is in this video, I'm gonna pick the very first book. So you'll know what book that I'm starting on December 1st. And during the whole process of reading that book, I'm gonna vlog myself and once I finish that book, I'm gonna do a book review. And so with that vlog and book review video, at the very end of that video, I will open the door for number two and I will read that book and do the same process. I will vlog it, I will do a book review, then I will open the door for day number three. So I will not be opening any doors until I finish the book previous or DNF'd it. If I absolutely cannot stand the book, then I'm not gonna force myself to read it. There are a couple on here that got pretty low ratings and so you never know. I hope that makes sense. I hope all this makes sense and it will make more sense as it goes along. I'm just really excited to see what book choices I have and when I open the prompt, each prompt has the name of the book, the author, it has how many pages are in the book so I'll already know once I open the, the door how long that book will be and then it has whether or not it came from my Goodreads TBR because I'd prefer to read books off my TBR. There's like 13, almost 1400 books on there. So if you have any interest in doing this, maybe you don't have time to make an advent calendar, but maybe you have a 12 day advent calendar you can pick up and do this with me. You don't have to pick the same Christmas Carol I did. You could pick a different Christmas Carol and go with the lines from that one, or you could do the same thing, but pick different books. I think this would be a lot of fun. And if you're interested in doing it along with me, comment in the section down below and let me know because I'd like to see what you end up doing. Okay, so I'm a little nervous because I'm gonna open up the first door I think for this one, there was only actually one book on my TBR, which was A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, but that was also like a really long book. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm hoping for. I Partridge is about Alan Partridge. I think he's a British comedian and I'm gonna listen to that on audiobook because he narrates it. And then the second one, Leaving Lucy Pear, got a really low score on Goodreads. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm excited to read that one. Okay, okay. Okay, there's my book. And by the way, that's what they look like. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
great, wow. Okay, so my first book is great because it's a book that's already on my Goodreads, uh, but it's also 496 pages. I'll be reading A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a coming-of-age novel about a girl named Francie Nolan. So this is sort of a YA historical fiction, I think, and it was first published in 1945. And Francie Nolan is a girl who's living in the slums of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and I don't really know much aside from that and that it's a coming-of-age story. I think that it just tells about her life in that area and what she goes through, some of the difficulties she faces, and it got really great reviews. I mean, really great reviews. And it actually got really great reviews by people that I know and whose opinions I value. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm a little nervous about it being almost 500 pages because it's my first book for the month. And you know, I wanna get through all 12. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you continue along on my ridiculousness for the rest of the month because I'm having a lot of fun. Like the video, subscribe right now, and I will see you in the next one! Hopefully it won't take too long to get to the next one. Hopefully I'll get through this book really quickly and you will see me soon. Bye.